hello, Ophelia. I had to do that because somebody was already talking about my breasts. Oh, someone in the kitchen who uh, wanted you to eat fish, but you wouldn't eat it. No. No. Well, thank you for doing the uh, regular hello that you haven't done in quite some time. Maybe I'm it, feeling may like people were getting too used to it. I well, perhaps we should have started talking about pride before we came I've on. I've got to keep uh, people on their toes. Oh, okay. I like it when you do that. You were actually here uh, a little early today. No, I was actually late. Well, I had for, some issues. for you, it's early. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Some lady pissed me off coming over here, so I had to wash my windshield a couple of times, and I missed my turn. Oh, I was too busy washing my fucking windshield. I love it when you uh, post that shit on your Facebook. I wash my windshield. Oh, I have the cleanest windshield in all of San Diego. I'm just saying. Particularly when you're driving down the interstate. Oh. <laughs> and this lady was pissed because she, you could tell she was, had just got her little black Lexus all washed. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't piss off, Ophelia. Nah, if I wanted you to ride with me, I would have invited you. You'd be in the back seat already. Yeah, clearly she was wanting to ride with me. <laughs> oh, girl. Well, it's lovely to see you. Your yeah, breasts look you. big. Your waist is looking trimmer. So, I'm um, like working out like a bitch. Well, good. Tell me what your workout is consisting I'm gonna go of. I'm going to on that show. Um, uh, Fattest Loser. I clearly did not hear that. Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition. <laughs> Maybe that's the one. No. With the cutie patootie trainer. No, but girl, she, she lists that girl. Yeah. Oh, I'm well. just saying. I thought I had a lot of S's in the word, so I'm like. And isn't it sad that he's a straight dude? Hoda and Kathleen. Hoda and Kathleen. Hoda and Kathleen. I don't, is he straight? Yes. Straight, married, lives in Arizona, has two kids. Well, just because you're married and have kids doesn't mean. Okay, well, right. whatever. He's probably frequenting a bathhouse. I but mean, there's some people we could talk to about that. Contrary. Contrary. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to bed. Do not pass go. Because <laughs> I think when I first met Trent, he was just coming out of a certain relationship with some fish. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> I think he was living in the ocean. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this episode your children probably won't want to watch. <laughs> Trent, <bad> <laughs> Speaking of, Trent and Lily are here. When are the kids coming out? They're not. Oh, moving on. How was your weekend? It was good. I had a very busy weekend. Well, do Jeez. tell. You know, um, I, you know, people ask me all the time. They're like, oh, you know, like, what's new, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, I have a pretty, you know, I'm like, I have nothing. It's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. y yeah, you say that all the time. Like, you're boring. But no, people watch the show, girl with 40 minutes of you talking about everything that you do. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I never feel like I do anything, which is kind of the problem. She thinks, oh, I just go walking. I and, do. And go visit my horse. I, I do. Well, I, I did not get out to see my horse this weekend. <gasps> I know. Because I was be too busy. I was, you. She will be a little <laughs> perturbed. Well, we went for uh, on uh, Friday. I guess it was Friday. I think it was last Friday. I went for a very long ride. It was so, mm -hmm. she probably doesn't want me to be back on for a while. She's oh, like, okay. Oh, She's like, like I'm over you. Off of me. Well, but now that you're getting all slim and trim and skinny, because of the bet. Yeah, because I do not like losing. Yes, I know. And you still won't tell us what uh, what the wager is. No, we're not. No, but it is with Jeff S. Yes, and do you Jeff. know how he's doing? How how much? What's his progress? I think he's lost uh, like three pounds. Okay. Four pounds. And what's your progress? I've lost eight and a half. Oh. Good girl. Woo woo! <laughs> it's the green saying. tea, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. And the fact that you don't eat fish. I don't eat fish. And I've been trying to cut back on my carbohydrates. I feel like, you know, like Paula Dean, she lost 30 pounds. Mm hmm. Well, she kind of didn't have a choice, did she? Well, for some medical reason, whatever. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could get lap band. I actually, I'm called about that. I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not, um, I'm not large enough for a lap band. But I'm like, well, I'll take a small lap band. I don't need a big one. Right? I don't need the whole thing. Just half yeah. a one. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I want to. I did. <laughs> Only you, girl. Only but you. But now the FDA just approved a uh, pill for obese for people. Oh, that, yes, they did. Yes. And. But there I've were like already. some mad crazy side effects, yeah, right? You're like, whatever. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm already checking into, yeah. I'm waiting for that to get on the market. It'll be like, oh, do you remember, uh, what was that? Fin Fin. Fin Fin, yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> Ephedra. Back in those days, I just did coke, so like, I didn't need to worry about it. Oh, that's fin. right. Both you and Summer Meadows. Yeah, those were the days. Skinny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we did. We did our coke and, well, I don't know what we did. That was mine. <laughs> that was your thing. My recreational. Well, we completely strayed from your weekend. So what did you do? Well, my nephew had a lacrosse. He was in a lacrosse tournament. Mm -hmm. And so I went out to that, was over in Coronado. So I spent almost the entire weekend in Coronado, which was lovely. So um, so between his games, I went out, you know, because I have friends that live in Coronado. So I went over to their house and hung out with them. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so it was, it was a fun. Oh, these are, fun. The, these are the little hot players that yes, you could be. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I remember you talking about. Yes, so. <laughs> you could have gone to jail over. Okay, yeah, so at the tournament, <laughs> yes. Because they were like high school, you know, kids. Mm -hmm. And I kept having to pray for forgiveness for looking. Like, mm -hmm. But I, I mean, I was looking because they were hot, but I wasn't looking like in a pedophile, like, <laughs> way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You do what? In, okay. Yes, thank you. In case the Catch a Predator is watching the show. Yeah. But I was, I was amazed. Yeah. I mean, I was, okay, first off, they didn't look like that when I was in school. No. Because I would have started trust. having sex way earlier. True. Way earlier. They did not look like that. And there was this one kid, and he was a kid. I mean, truly, he was a kid. I mean, I think if he was 16, I, Ooh. I don't know, but. Girl, Perfect. 16 I mean, there even. Was, I mean, there was, he was genetically, like, perfect. Like, I kept staring at him like, well, there's got to be something wrong with well, him. So like, our, maybe he'll walk funny. He, he walked. He looked beautiful when he walked. He was flawless when he ran. I thought, well, maybe he has a small wee-wee. Was it? But I saw it bouncing around in his shorts. Mm -hmm. He was blessed there, You too. mean he didn't wear a jock even? Oh, my God. So what um, are, what... Feature are lacrosse players known for having yeah, excellence? The entire, the entire thing. Okay. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> and I just kept thinking, Leg, like, what? And legs? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, and arms. You know, because they hit. Because they, I love yeah. It. Oh, God, I love the game. Anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> I kept waiting for. So, one of my uh, friends over there who was a, uh, a girl girl, a real good girl, who's like my age. So, both of us were like, we cannot look at him. Like, this is like, we need to look away. And we kept like, We'd look away and then both of us would be like this. <laughs> like, it was just wrong. And then I'm like, maybe he's stupid. Maybe he just has no brains. Like maybe that could be his flaw. And then she's like, he's so gorgeous. It wouldn't matter. He could be the dumbest person on the world and he will get everything that he wants in life mm -hmm. because people will just, she's if he walked over right now and said, I want, we'd figure out a way to get it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to see his parents? Uh, no. Mr. Hotboy? No, I don't think I so. was just curious what his dad looked like. Oh, God, I don't know. That's a very because, good question. Because, you know, usually. Well, you know, I was talking with some other friends that, uh, well, my friends over in Coronado mm -hmm. about it, you know. And they were saying that, uh, which they have a very good point. A, like, in Coronado and, and some of your nights are places, not, which is sad, but I mean, it's facts, you know, like, Maybe not in, you know, in the places where people have money, uh -huh. you know, the kids do. I mean, there is a certain, there is a certain um, understanding, if you will, I don't know, that, you know, like, they, you know, start getting the braces sooner. If the braces don't work, uh, so they're getting the veneers and they have the gym memberships and they're having the plastic surgeries earlier. There's an image yeah. thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that, you know, that they are really good looking and it's you know <laughs> right yes i mean it's like they're manufacturing hot <laughs> kids mm -hmm. and you know the affluent the more affluent areas oh than, of course than uh when they are manufacturing you know they, well like, i mean they are if you think about it because they're all watching the real housewives yeah. and looking at what their sons and daughters look like and oh my god i gotta look like that and i gotta drive that car and i gotta have that yeah, bag i mean the girls all have you know they're all stacked when they get into high school. Right. Everyone's teeth is perfect when they get into high perfect school. Perfect noses. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, they are. So, I wonder what's going to happen. I was thinking, this was my thing. 
because uh, I might have had a couple glasses of wine. <gasps> Whatever. Oh, shut up. So, uh, hmm. so there were, That's so not there allowed. Were, I know, but uh, I wasn't in San Diego. I was in Coronado. Oh, okay. You know, my rule is, you know. Whatever. Right, right, right. So Within city limits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was. Uh, right? So then, so what we were talking about, and then, and I mean, I think it's true. So if we have all of these manufactured, you know, kids mm -hmm. that we are, that, well, not we, but, you know, like people, people. are. Mm -hmm. And they're all getting, you know, perfect teeth and, you know, the spray tans and yada, yada, yada. They're, you know, they're perfect. Uh huh. Okay, but really, before they were perfect, they were probably, they could have been ugly, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is all genetics, you know. For so sure. When those two perfect people that were manufactured to be perfect, when they procreate, they're gonna have their ugly, ugly babies. Genes all come through. <laughs> they're gonna have ugly babies. They better hope that they can make money to manufacture those kids to be cute too. Right. To keep it all going because I don't think people thought about that. They could have ugly babies. Right. Pretty. Yeah. Well, see, that's I'm what I'm saying. saying. As we move along, and he and Lily said the right the right thing. I mean, pretty soon in ten years, we're going to be able to determine everything we want about our child. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to program that like shit in the talking. DNA. It's shit, yeah. No temper, no, no temper. Bigger ears. Right. Bigger ears. <laughs> right. I want you to be a goddamn Romanian fucking gymnast, so you're going to be predestined to be able to build muscle mass really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no. I, did that. I, I, I was in I went Coronado. I went over to my friend Tim Boat because he's starting a um, a um, a boat, a breakfast, like you know, a bed and breakfast, uh -huh. like a boat and breakfast kind of thing where you go and spend the night on the boat. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, and we'll do little harbor tours, and so um, I checked out his boat for that. It's going to be very nice. Is it a nice boat? It's a very big boat. Is it one that we can go park over, uh, you know, by Humphreys and watch? No, 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 no. It's this is a big. It's a big. Oh, okay. It's like three, I think it has like three state rooms. It's oh, big. nice. It's big. It's not Very a Humphreys nice. boat. Oh, well. Humphreys I've, is like a canoe. I was thinking about you as I was looking at the lineup for Humphreys this weekend, and it's... Who's there this weekend? Not this coming weekend. I This past weekend, I was looking at it because I, oh. you know, concert season is big for both of us. Right. We, and Who's going to be there? Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of good ones, and I know that the one that I saw most recently is... Um, because I have connections. Fuck a duck. It's right on the top of my tongue, and I'm forgetting it right now, and it will come to me probably at the next break. But, you know, we talked a lot last last season, concert season, right. about going and watching it on the boat. So we need to make that happen. Because you like, and everyone, your connections. Everyone canceled. That was going to be good. Like Adele was going to be there, and yeah. she canceled. Yeah, and she All canceled. Things, so it wasn't worth it. Although I did go see Diana Ross when she was there. Mm -hmm. we, I want to go. It'll be fun. It'll be fantastic. So, but speaking of, um, you know, liking the young kids, remember, I... I, I didn't say that I like the young kids. <laughs> I said that I was memorized by them. <laughs> I said, um, no, I wasn't even attracted. I was not attracted to them. Well, we... I was memorized by them. I had gone to the movie in... Uh, where is the Edwards Cinema up in? Is Mira it Mira Mesa? Mesa? Yes. Went up there and with uh, Jeff Ramos and, and Donald, and we stood in line for... Uh, Prometheus. Right. It was a couple weeks ago, and same thing. There were three kids in front of us that were on the um, under nineteen rugby tournament thing, and fuck an a. I just it's wrong. It, it it was wrong. It is wrong. And the thing, and the other part about it is that there were some of the, these other kids, but they were kids in. You know, everyone was drinking, you know, and saying, like, well, this other group, not this other group, not us. Yeah, not that, <laughs> not the high school, then this other group of people that I was hanging out with, these other little kids, they are, I mean, and they're young too. I mean, they're like, you know, in their early 20s. They were just ripping off their clothes every chance they got. <laughs> just ripping them off. Like, That's where you wanted to go hang out then? No, I left because <laughs> I was like, uh, A, they were all like gods, you know what I'm saying? Everybody thinks I'm Gramps here. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I am not, like. <laughs> Keep party with the youngins. You could teach them a thing or two no. about shots and what oh, happens. Well, that's, that's a, I, they already know that. <laughs> what happens when people have too many shots around Ophelia? They get into positions called the spider. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so I had no voice because I. Yeah, I know. You did the show Monday. You did, they said, did. Monday. Because I was screaming. And you were kind of a little raspy, rasp. Was very did you enjoy the show Monday? It was a good show. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, they said. I can't said, think of anything bad about it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even remember it? You probably don't. <laughs> I remember. It was, it was a really good show. You guys, um, it was probably the longest they said that you guys had filmed. Uh, well, like, I do know. Ever. We, they were, like, really wanting to talk about a lot. Yeah, like, they oh, sure God. were. Well, and, you know, Amber from They Said is going on vacation for a couple of weeks. Yes. And what's really exciting, uh, next week, guess who's coming back to the show? I don't know. Who? Kelly. Is she going to come yes, in? Yes. She's oh, going to come she's in. Been putting so many little pictures <laughs> of the sky on the thing. Yes. So, and she's on vacation next week, so she said she gets to hang out a little while uh, and have a little cocktail or two because Abby's letting her. So... <laughs> well, that is very exciting. Yes, it's going to be very fun. I'm, I'm very excited. Because I'm sure she's been watching and keeping up, and she'll have a few things to say to everybody. And, you know, she hasn't really met Dustin yet, so... Oh, she hasn't? No, because they never did the show together. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. So, yeah, it will be really fun. Um, I love that. I did uh, Patrol this weekend. So, you Stonewall did. Citizens Patrol, yes. And? With uh, producer Jay. Yes. And because he was trying to become president. Well, you know, he wants to rule the world. And it started. I mean, I was thinking, you know, maybe he should have done a couple more patrols. <laughs> Except like the Saturday before. And then, ooh, the I would have president. <laughs> He's, did he win? He, he has been elected to the board. We did have our. Uh, did he win president? Well, we are not doing that yet. <laughs> uh, they gotta they, they will couple, decide that. He's got to do a couple more patrols. Before. Yeah, he might have to. But I will tell you the funniest thing, you know, Jay is so cute about his whole, like, t-shirt size thing like he won't wear a fucking large shirt because he feels like he's gonna swim in it and actually Lee is kind of the same way so I had this shirt well both of these people should rethink <laughs> well he, my whole thing is like this is a fucking patrol shirt you're gonna be in a car not getting out modeling and showing your fucking ass in your mom jeans to everybody in the whole world it's just a uniform why does it have to be a medium because it's got a fit in a car from nine to midnight on patrol. And the are like extra large. See, why do they complain about stuff like that? Well, maybe uh, now that they're on the board, that is a very important issue that they all will be able to take up and that they can maybe redesign Re their resize uniforms them. Yes, and get perhaps. everything figured out. I mean, <laughs> that is what I would worry about. Anyway, we did go out on patrol and we saw absolutely nothing. And I think that it was because uh, Jay was there and he, kept order so we uh we did we cut some streets you and guys need to get my little police scanner because oh no no well what's so funny is there's our, a lot of stuff that goes on on our streets our uh the executive director on on the stonewall patrol does have a police scanner that he puts in the fucking vehicle every time he goes out so he knows where everything is yes. happening I listen and I'm like, to it, I, it is amazing i don't think that we would get much done because we'd just be going to every little place that was having a um, I will say that... Uh, Last night I was so excited because they, some kid jumped off the OB pier. Oh. It was on the police scanner. <laughs> there was so much activity that I actually, for a brief three minutes, thought about getting in my car and driving down there to oh, see... Oh, please, it, it girl. It was getting really good. I mean, it please. was... Because this drunk guy jumped off the bridge, and then somebody else jumped off to save him, and then somebody else got in the water from, a, you know, to go and save those two... That, I mean, oh God, it was great. And then two of them, I guess, were arrested for being drunk. <laughs> I'm like, really? Well, hello, welcome to the beach community. I totally, OB. I totally oh, wanted to go. Well, what I wanted to say was give a shout out to the SDPD who has hired some exceptionally attractive new uh, police officers for the Central Division because motherfuck, when we were out on patrol, there was probably we must have saw at least 20 squad, 20 squad cars. And they all tend to be in North Park, like right across from True North. And they sit on their hoods and they, with their big belts and guns and fucking shaved heads looking like, oh, they could do a calendar. Fucking beautiful men. So one love San Diego Police Department because your police officers are hot motherfucking hot. <laughs> Speaking of police officers, <laughs> on, a, on another note, 
I was very, I think it's very good that, uh, you know, Chula Vista PD applied for and got a grant that will um, allow them to hire, I think, it's seven veterans. Oh, I love that, yes. So that's kind of cool. Yes. There's another veterans thing that we can talk about, too, because I know that you will probably have something to say. Because I love my veterans. I know you love your veterans, and I do, too, but we probably need to take a break before we talk about it, because this could go long. Right. So we'll be right back. We're back. We're live at Urban Mo's, which is our favorite third day location. You want to talk about veterans? Because you I know you talk about veterans. I know you love your veterans. You were just I talking do love about my them. Veterans. I well, do. you you love your veterans that are uh, on ships somewhere that come to visit you. But no, those would be veterans. Those are the active veterans. Usually are off the ship. Whatever. And they're stuck at home with their wives. I think they you like those. Away. I think you like those too. I'm so going to find one of your Craigslist postings. We'll read it on air and post it for everybody to see. <coughs> so in San Diego, there is a, um, uh, uh, they are trying to build a facility to take care of veterans that will, that will room up to 70 veterans that come back from uh, war that have, you know, PTSD or, or, or some issues. Are there just veterans? Um, well, veterans that they are dealing with um, some severe mental issues because of, you know, post-war trauma or whatever. And the proposed location here in San Diego is going to be right across the street from a charter school. And the charter school is giving them grief. They don't want that facility or location to be across the street because the charter school says, quote unquote, that if they have to go into a lockdown situation, because one of the veterans becomes erratic or goes, you know, AWOL or whatever from this facility, that it could be traumatic for their students. So then my question would be, uh, let's see, how many veterans, I mean, this would be a good thing because I don't know the answer. I'm just <laughs> posing the question. I think I have an idea what the answer is going to be. <laughs> Yours, I usually do before mm -hmm. I pose questions. Mm -hmm. But my question is how many veteran homes have had, uh, you know, someone shoot them all up to how many schools have students that shoot up the schools. Mm -hmm. Very good I, I think I've heard of more schools shoot up than I have military housing facilities. That's a, uh, a very good point. I think Sorry? Shoot up. Shoot up. Well, no, not that kind of shoot up. <laughs> shoot them up. Oh, oh, good Lord. Where did like bang, bang, this? gun. Yeah. Not... Shoot up, shoot up heroin. Um. Where did we get this right crowd today? <laughs> Clearly, we'll be dropping them off at the veterans. <laughs> right. Well, I, I thought also that it was very interesting that they made that point because I'm thinking, well, you know, how traumatic do you think it is for those veterans that are in this facility with what they have gone through fighting for your right to sit there and say this sort of shit that you don't want them across the street? I think that that is really fucked. And it's like, it's only 70 rooms that they're looking to to open across across the street from a gated school so it just is kind of indicative to me of how some people still are treating the veterans it's like they just get written off when they're done and i think it's just horrible i do not write any of them off uh no you sure do not write any of them off okay exactly we're gonna have a lot more than that well, because we're downsizing, too. Well, exactly. They're not going to be, you know, with, with ending in, in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and limiting troops elsewhere. I mean, they're coming home, and they're going to need to do something. They deserve jobs and everything. Yes, they do. And blankets, which I can't wait to do again this that year. That is coming up. If they are going to be homeless. Just donated. Somebody just, a hotel just called. I thought this was very sweet. A hotel just called, uh -huh. and they... Um, are gonna redo their, they're redoing their linen stuff? Oh yeah, like redesigning rooms and stuff right. when they get rid of their bedding. And so they got, they called and they they have like over a hundred blankets. I love that. And like so the they, comforters and yeah. stuff? That's such well, a good idea. not the comforters, idea. just the, the blankets. Well, you know, yeah, right, right, right. So uh, that they're gonna donate. But you know what, thing. even the comforters would work too if they're getting that rid of true. them. That is true. Well, Shit. I don't know. 
All right, any hotels that are getting ready to go through a remodel, call her. Yeah. Because so I thought that was really great. So we're gonna get the blankets and, and put them in storage until we can get them. Back. That's yeah. awesome. I I love that. Yeah. I would love to see you know because we have done it now past the past two years, which I I absolutely love doing. And there's also, you know, our friend Randy, who's been on the show before, Randy Bragdon. Yes. Um, he does the home, uh, the Hope for the Holidays when we go down on Christmas Day and deliver down there um, to the homeless areas downtown, deliver food and toiletries and all that sort of shit. Right. There, maybe we can get some of those blankets, too, and deliver down there. We totally that would could. be totally awesome. I usually have a lot of blankets. Uh, yes, you do, girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. You know, it was Pride this past weekend in Chicago, New York, and... San Francisco. And San Francisco. Yes. It was also Pride in Tijuana. Yes. <laughs> it was. I mean, I'm not laughing because, um, you know, Tijuana, the very first parade that they ever did, which was several years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think they said it was nine years ago, or something like that. It was. I think it was a little bit more, but yeah, it was okay. close to that. Uh, I went down in March in the very first parade. Do you want to have. Did Ophelia march? Uh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it really, okay, because I really didn't want to go into, into the pride thing, but I do want to say that, you know, going and doing that pride, and, you know, because I was up here for so many years mm -hmm. and doing our pride and what it was and, you know, the whole you know, coming together kind of thing, and then to go do that, where there were actually, you know, like, people throwing things, and mm -hmm. people threatening to shoot us, and, you know, like, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I went from being in the very front, <laughs> carrying this banner, to, like, you know, like, backing up, and uh -huh. like, really totally wanting to be in the middle of, of the group, and instead of us all spreading out, by the time we got done, because people were, like, throwing, and, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we started to just, like, you know, the spread out thing. And by the end of it, we were like just one big mob of people trying to work down the street. Mm -hmm. And then we were all supposed to go to, a, to, the, to this bar, but it had gotten so many threats that, no, that we didn't go to the bar because we were afraid that, afraid. you know, something right. was going to happen. So we all found another bar that, you know, we all went in. But, you know, it was really, but to me, that's kind of really what rides are all about and what mm -hmm. we do, I don't think we look at. I just, um, I had lunch the other day with um, with uh, Rob. Oh, I can't think. I, I can't. He sounds fabulous. What does he do? Uh, Rob, he's a Judas Priest. Oh, Rob. yeah, Half, Halford. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about that uh, he was over, you know, because he's over in Europe a lot, and mm -hmm. he was talking about Pride. Because we were talking about Pride in San Diego and, and right. you know, what it is and yada, yada, yada. And uh, we were talking, you know, like in in, um, in some European countries, like Belfast, where you know he has been to Pride and whatnot. I mean, people actually get killed, and people, you know, p these people go and march, and they come together to to you know to really be proud and to march and do all of that stuff, knowing that they are going to get attacked and that they are going to get arrested mm -hmm. and that they are going to get beaten. That it's not a celebration. That it is. Well, I mean, it is a celebration, but it's not a celebration. It is that they are all coming together. It's standing up and fighting back. Yeah. So, and then you look at our pride. You know, and not, and I, and I don't, I don't just mean like our pride. I mean, San Francisco and pride has become a become a corporation. Right here. But it's not even like what Stonewall. I mean, Stonewall was about, you know, people having enough and standing up mm -hmm. and fighting right. for what it is. It wasn't about the party that it has become. Mm -hmm. I think that that is part of the reason that I get a little worked up over pride because I right. don't think that people really see that. I don't think that people understand. People forget yeah. its roots. I don't think that people, you know, you look at uh, Matthew who was over here, you know, on University Avenue and they're just getting ready to do a remembrance thing for him. Um, who, you know, a stray kid that was, you know, killed because they oh, thought... Oh, Johnny Weir, like, you mean. Johnny Weir. Johnny Weir. Yes. Yeah. The, the hate crimes memorial. Yeah. Plot. Correct. Mm-hmm. It was... That 
and those are exactly the, the points that you bring up that are always so important. And that was one of the reasons why I brought up the whole Tijuana Pride thing is because I think I, I had read and I had talked to Carolina who was down there all weekend right. um, because, you know, she goes down there all the time. And it was the first Pride that they had where they were without incident and people were right. able to feel comfortable, not have to wear bags over their heads not have to feel like they needed to wear a vest because somebody might get shot or get right. thrown something at. She said it's the first time ever in the history of Tijuana Pride, for however long it's been around, that it was without incident. And they had some fantastic pictures. She showed the little booths and, you know, they had little information booths for all the different AIDS organizations and for the health associations that and that's what it was about. You didn't see fucking Stoli no. down there. You didn't. You didn't see none of that yeah. shit. No, you you saw the importance, and and so that's why I brought that up because the contrast between what Tijuana Pride is about versus the prides that we just had last weekend, which right. were L.A., Chicago, and uh, New York, uh, or I'm sorry, San Francisco, Chicago, and New York, the three largest prides in in the United States, and how different they are. Yeah. Well, and even, and if you compare the prides on, you know, all of them, you know, I mean, you look at San Francisco Pride, but it, what I find amazing about San Francisco Pride, and I still, I just, I find it amazing, mm -hmm. is that, you know, it's one of the few prides that they do not charge. They do not charge right. for the festival. They do not, you know, it is a, truly a celebration of right. the city. It's like a city fest almost. And yeah, and yet they still give out more money because more people just donate to them, mm -hmm. you know, and they get, what I think is very cool, I was just talking to some friends up there, there are companies that will donate to their employees that will volunteer for Pride. Mm -hmm. So yes. if you want to volunteer X amount of hours and you work for X amount of company, then, and you go and you volunteer that, then they'll donate money to a charity that you Want. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, you know, to me, I think that that's cool. I mean, like, you know, I had one friend and he volunteered, I think, for like two hours. <clears throat> and uh, the company that he works for donated $200 in his name to a group that he, you know. Right. And to me, I think that is well, you know, amazing. What's, what's fantastic is that there are many companies that actually do that as a corporate philosophy being at the center, I know we have several volunteers that volunteer because of that very reason. Their company, for as many hours that they give to the center for volunteering, they donate to the center on, on their behalf for the, for the volunteering. And they get credit for it as being part of their 40-hour um, work week. Oh, so, so, so they can work technically at their job for 36 hours and give four hours of volunteer time to the center each week, and they're still getting a 40-hour work week, and that company then is in turn donating four hours of time uh, in terms of money to the center. That, uh, there are several corporations that do that, only those that are you know, truly uh, LGBT supportive, but I, I think that's a great thing. And yeah, you, know, you had mentioned last, um, last week when we were talking about different festivals like that, you know, how San Francisco Pride is able to allow people in for free. Well, right. I mean, uh, quite obviously, yes, they do get some sort of city subsidizing, right, 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 which right, right. We, we do need to point out. But Folsom Street has every single year, which is the, one of the largest civic events that happens in the United States in terms of its numbers of people that go, has been free mm -hmm. for since the beginning of time. And it has grown and grown and grown and grown with sponsorships and every little even, thing that you can think even of even folks have, i mean that <clears throat> but they still give money i mean every <laughs> year the amount of money that they give to the tunes of millions of dollars throughout the years grows and grows and they do it with two two employees right two yeah. the largest one of the largest civic events yeah exactly so i mean understanding the reality of the difference between what we have and and other and other festivals like the one in Tijuana. I, yeah, it does speak, well, we I'm just saying, we Rowland. can't even get Kelly Rowland. <laughs> but I, I but love- But I still think that's, yeah. I, I, you know what? Maybe Kelly Rowland would have done Tijuana Pride. 
if it was a little different. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. Commander. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, whatever. I don't really see that. Anyways, either. I just wanted to give a shout out to Carolina and Latino Services and everybody who put together. Um, and everyone that went down. To, that to, that to went down, on. yeah. That is, I mean, that is. Se seriously. I mean, we always read everything that is posted online, like what happens in Bulgaria Pride and Russia Pride, and we know what they deal with, with people throwing bottles at them and shooting guns and all that sort of stuff, exactly like what you were talking right. about. You have not experienced that, probably, unless you're yeah. watching us from St. Petersburg, but, right. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's pride. That is some serious pride. That is pride. All right, I think we got to take another break. All right, bye. And we'll be right back. Yeah, let's. <laughs> We're he, back. He clearly <laughs> thinks because he's going to start the camera that we won't stop talking. That's right. That's so producer Jay for you. Yeah. Ooh, Nicholas, he was all looking for something. He looks like he's. Yeah, he looks like he's on the he on the on prowl. He's on a for well, something. You know, they just did the five o'clock shots out there, so you know uh, people are out there. So he's they are to, uh, a, drunk and ready uh, for the taking. See, I was talking to someone. <laughs> that line again. So what do you? Did you forget your phone number or something? <laughs> oh, see, he's, uh, we he, don't know about the show. He, he's really trying to let people know about the show. Oh, you know me. Oh, you see me? Oh. Sh Maybe from Craigslist. Back alley. Back back alley. alley. SRO. SRO. Have you been there lately? No, but I'm going this weekend, oddly enough. Who are you going with? Christina I'm going Monet. With Christina Monet! Duh. Hello. We're having a mother daughter evening. Oh, that's going to be fun. I want to go. Can we go? Well, clearly you're not going to, uh, you are not a mother, nor are you a daughter. Well, I can. Therefore, you are not invited to our mother-daughter evening. I can be an admirer. Well, then you need to catch up. We have a full evening of activities planned. Oh, what does this full evening consist of? Well, we're going to go to say goodbye to Ian over at Martini's. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll consist of a couple minutes. Well, and I'm just also saying I may or may not have cocktails this weekend. Oh. So it's just a little more lax these past couple of weekends, you and your non-drinking drinking? Yeah, my non-drinking drinking. drinking. Mm -hmm. um, well, this weekend I had to I had to drink because... It was lacrosse. Well, that and I was like looking at children. <laughs> okay, first off, photos never get taken from down there up. Never. Never. Ever. <laughs> You'll be fired for that. I yeah, know, see, bitch. What you need to do is stand on a stool. <laughs> Oh, then that's fine. But in the future, there'll be no photos taken from this. That is why I'm going back and back and back. Uh, no. Good Lord. Have you ever had Moscati, Moscato? Moscato. Moscato wine? Yes. I had not. It's, it's sweet, Swedish. Sweet-ish. Right. It's a sweeter wine, yes. And it's kind of a little more fizzy. Yeah, Probably, they, yes. That's the current mm -hmm. kind of word. Well, I never had it before. And so, but I, I like the name of it. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I'll try that. Because I normally do not like white wine at all. <laughs> I like the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually really, really like that wine. There are, as and we were talking about that on Monday, there are many kinds of, of Moscato. I so didn't know that. There are sweets. There are uh, dryers. There are... Well, I'm going to have to, uh, we're going to have to research. Well, you know, Miss Miss Amber on they said she's... That's what she said. She's going she's to gonna bring some because yeah. that's her deal. She's all about some wine. Yeah. She'll turn you into a wino girl. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of wine, at the end of August is going to be uh, Mama's Kitchen's wine thing. Oh, yeah. Their wine spiel deal right. over at Bourbon Street. I love that. Yes. I that. It's always a very good cause. God, they're kind of camera happy today. <coughs> I'm serious. I don't know I don't why. Know what's going on with them? Trying to take photos of you up your skirt. I guess they are. Good lord. If they only knew I didn't put everything away. They're going to be shocked when they actually get to see it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, be careful trying to take a picture of my skirt. I, meanwhile, through that mirror, I don't know who's out there. I'm surprised Nicholas isn't all over that. Because he is hot, hot. Oh, see? That's the problem when we have the distractions. 
because they're not really caring. I don't even think they're focusing. Every, I'll, I'll tell you this right now, every single one of those photos that I download is gonna be blurry because that's the... Because they shake. Because that's what he does. He, he's worse than Kurt. I had a lovely, I had a lovely um, breakfast with Kurt. Oh, no, 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 Hello, baby. I'm That's focusing you. on me. <laughs> I'm focusing on me. <laughs> well, I'm going to come and crash your mother-daughter uh, weekend at SRO. Well, I don't know if that will be allowed, but that's where we're, that is just one of our many stops. We have many things to do. Well, we're, I, I, we have several pool parties to go to this weekend because a lot of people have switched their pool parties to the weekend before and the weekend after 4th of July because it's on Wednesday. Which right. nobody really wants to like get all fucked well, up drunk I, on Wednesday. A lot of people I know, you know, I ha it's kind of funny. I have a certain group of people that have taken uh, Monday, Tuesday off of mm -hmm. this week. So basically they are off from Friday mm -hmm. until Thursday. Right. Because Wednesday is a holiday. So, which is very smart. I mean, it's kind of a long little vacay. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of sucking for my job because like, you know, whatever. Well, because you normally don't work, what, Sunday, Monday? I don't work, right. Sunday, Monday, right. And so, um, but there's a lot of people out of town, blah, blah, blah. And then there's another group that are taking Thursday, Friday off. So they're going to, so they're off from Tuesday until the following Monday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which is the, the same amount of days, no matter how you want to slice it, dice it. But what I have figured out <laughs> is the people that are taking the Monday, Tuesday off, are not the partiers. The partiers are the, you know, because they'll like take the Monday, Tuesday off. Right. And they don't have a problem going back to work on, on Thursday. Thursday, because right. They're not, they're, not, they're not partying for the 4th of July. All the party people. Thursday, Friday. They're all taking the Thursday, yeah. Totally. So like out at the river, you know, all the party, you know, because the big weekend is going to be, everyone's leaving on Tuesday. Right. Because they'll party, because that's what you do out there instead of. Are you going to the river? No. I didn't say that. I didn't say I wasn't, but I didn't say I am. Well, hmm. We might like to know that if you have any uh, appointments set for Thursday, or if she's trying to move them. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going. No, no, I'm not going to the river for that. I'm going to the river. Uh, I'm going to the river two weekends in July. Two weekends in July. Yes. I think that you should invest in a camper. Hi. I don't know. I think you should. I don't need a camper. Why? Do you stay in someone else's? When I go to the river? Yeah. Yeah, I stay at the trailer. Whose trailer is it? How long are we doing the show? I don't know. It's someone's, I know. But I know it's not yours. It's my ex's family. Right. And that's where I stay. Oh. You need your own. Why do I need my own when that, that one is perfectly fine? <laughs> that one is perfectly fine. <laughs> I have a key to it. <laughs> I have a bed there. I have clothes. I do have clothes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, girl. Nice. She's got a closet. Well, I don't have all the clothes. I have a closet. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, that so. I go out there whenever I want. And I don't have to pay. <laughs> and I don't have to pay. Hey, bonus. Yeah, so I don't need my own. That would just fine. Oh, hmm. I do want to get another boat. Boat. Well, there, there you go. Get a boat or something. Yeah, I would do that. I told you this. This year is the year that I'm going to go I out know, to the we're river take, with we're you. We're trying to figure out a weekend that will take you. Okay. Uh, have, you, have you and producer Joey been uh, devising a plan for my stay Joey out there? Joey said he doesn't want to go when you're out there. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> Shit. My ass. That's not a lot of, a lot of people don't want to go. When I said Aaron's going to come out, everyone's like, "Oh, what weekend are you going to take him?" <laughs> well, I know Callie will go because she loves me. Callie was one of those people that <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm going to call her and ask. Uh, no, Callie said that uh, she will go. Okay. <laughs> because she wants to take photos. Because <laughs> she wants to take photos, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Anything for blackmail. So you don't, do you really not know what you're doing for 4th of July or? Oh, no, I'm going over to Coronado. Oh. Like I do every year. I think that Coronado is. Your big fucking Jägermeister machine? It's over there, but. Oh, already. <laughs> it's already over there. Uh, I think that Coronado is, you know, the, they have that parade in the morning and. Right. Yada, yada, yada. It is, Coronado is just, the, it is like the perfect 4th of July 
town. I mean, in every sense of the word. I mean, it's so patriotic, and you know, everyone has their flags out, and you know, there's so much uh, military there, mm -hmm. uh, both hot military people to look at, and you know, so many military families mm -hmm. and, and all of that. I think that the parade. I mean, you cannot, even if you are at that much of an American, you got to, you know, Love you leave right. that parade and you're like, oh. And if you're patriotic, well then you're like, boom. We, I was telling that to Lee when we were driving out to get um, Trent's ass when he came back from deployment. Because, you know, we have to sit and wait right. until we get in on the thing. I mean, flags everywhere and the houses are all manicured and so beautiful and the views are amazing. I mean, yeah, I yeah. can totally see that. So that's, I totally, that's where I go. I go over to the credit. I start early in the morning. Are your friend? where do your friends in, in relation to the main little drag there where they have the parade, where do they live? Like on the, on the north part of, like going towards the, the north entrance of the base or? Yeah. Okay. Those Couple houses, over. Those houses are fucking nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> do they have like, do they live waterside? Uh, no, they're like kind of in the thing, oh, okay. over by the high school. Okay. But you know, they're it's the top is all a roof deck. Oh yeah, they yeah. I that you have to have a house like that over there. So I, you have so to. we go and sit on the you know so we go over to the parade and you know and it's fun because you know we know people on the parade route so you go and you eat and you you know it's mm -hmm. like this big thing and I love that you know when the flag comes down you know all of the military men jump up and they salute and. That's, I, you know, I, I think it's just... And she gets a little moist on the inside. I, do. I mean, I just, I just think that it's just so spectacular. Yeah. Know, just the whole thing. And then, you know, we go over to, um, then we go to the house and then there's a barbecue at the house and then we watch the fireworks and up at the deck and you can see from all over. And then, um, depending on how I'm doing at, at that point of the day. <laughs> after all that wine you'll be drinking. Yeah, after all the Moscati. <laughs> the Moscati. Uh, then we go, uh, because there are a lot of military people there, and they're, um, you know, they're all high-ranking military officers. Mm -hmm. uh, so we could then go over to McPee's, and I hang out with them. So that's she my, hangs out with them. For the July. <laughs> and then she does not drive home. No, and then I, after then she stays I the stay night. That, yeah, I stay yes. on the island, and then I come back the next day. The next day. So you're ready, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for work. Yes. I'm for your that. for your very first appointment with scissors and clippers. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm doing that that day. Because that's what she did last year. <laughs> so whoever you are, <laughs> she'll be wearing sunglasses. <laughs> don't ask I think, her. I think well because it's on a Thursday. Exactly. So yeah. So. And we don't have a show on July 5th. <laughs> I was just, that was going to be my next question. Will, will we be here on July 5th? Because... Well, you may be here. <laughs> I may be here. <laughs> She'll be at home going, oh my God. There might, I might... <laughs> Too I much would, Moscato. <laughs> yeah. I might send a note. I might send a note. Uh, oh, fill in. Speaking of a fill in, what do you think about Ann Curry? You know, Ann Curry got fired this week. She sure did. From the Today Show. She, she sure did. And, you know, it was all I mean, I'm not very, tears in a journey, but... I'm like, whatever. Uh, first off, you've been there for 15 years. <laughs> I mean, that, that should be an accomplishment. The, I so bad that, you know, she got a little bit of all the blame, you know. But, whatever. And I think it's interesting that they give her $10 million to leave. And then they give Matt Lowry $25 million to stay. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're like, girl, you got to go. Do you, do you want to know what's so funny is that one of the um, the news outlets or I can't remember which one it was or some blog or something like that. The reason why they let her go is that they were uh, blaming her posture. They said that her posture is the whole reason. She's not welcoming because she hunches over all the time when she does interviews. And it was too offensive to Matt because she was always blocking him. <laughs> I was like, really? Fuck. You, you want to know what's going to happen? Homegirl's going to get her own, like, daytime talk show. Yeah, <laughs> she's like going to be worth... Else. Exactly. She's going to be, like, worth are you 100 watching, million bucks. I'm speaking... You, should we talk TV for a minute? We can, totally. Are you watching... You're not watching The Glass House. No. No. Because I told you... You told me it was stupid. Everybody... Stupid. And Ed said it, it was again. stupid. <laughs> Dallas... Okay, well, Dallas pissed me off because, you know, I could watch that online. 
and then this week they stopped. So right. now I can't watch it online anymore. So see, here is the problem with your little HD antenna, honey. I'm not getting cable. <laughs> I'm not getting cable. <laughs> I'm trying to massage her back into cable. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, she's like, Fuck I that. am like, I, no. No. And I also, you know, uh, Oprah, who, you know, her struggling network, OWN, they've changed, and, you know, I used to be able to watch her one show, the next chapter. Uh huh. And now they've changed that, so now it's just all broken up in clips and stuff. So I sent an email. I'm like, well, it's not as if your, your company is failing enough, then you're, you're taking away from, you know, a target audience. Right. It's not as if you can't, you know, that on those, uh, there's not commercials. Even if you watch something online, you still have commercials. Exactly. Granted, they're not as long, but you still have to watch commercials. And it's not like advertisers are not going to advertise on some Oprah-owned shit. Right. So, so, I'm not under, so I'm not understanding why they did that. I don't understand why more stuff isn't online. Other than I think that the cable companies might be, you know, slightly. Oh, because, that's, that is the fight. Because that's what, the fight. Because that's what's happened with uh, Dallas. Is That's on uh, TNT. TNT. Mm-hmm. It's oh, good. let let me just say this to be clear. Dallas, the the remake, is the fucking shit. It is the shit beyond shit, and Sue Ellen and John Ross are fucking amaze balls. Amaze balls. Well, I'm um I'm just gonna wait till it comes out because. It'll oh, be you know it will be. Series, and you know then I can watch. Well, you know we DVR it, and we have every single episode. So well, far. Yeah. I mean, there's been three now. So, I, I mean, if you want to come I over and watch think, it, you can. I do think that more people are going to... What I think is interesting is more and more shows are going online, and then other shows are not. Right. Which I think is... Networks are, are playing with that. You know, HBO has done a couple of that, too. A couple of things like that, too. If you are an HBO subscriber, and you have an iPad like we all have, you can get HBO Go... Uh, which is their iPad app, so you can watch every single series and right. show and movie that they have on there or whatever. The, but you also have to have it. Correct. You have right. to have a subscription to it. So the the non-premium channels are trying to figure out a way that they're going to be able to compete with that, and that's kind of how they do it. So what they're trying to do is they're going to give you the teasers. They're going to give you the two. You can watch two episodes or an episode and a teaser episode. But if you want to actually watch the episodes on an iPad app, which they will build or do have, you're going to have to buy that app for like seven bucks. And that I would almost be willing to do. I I think a lot of people would too, because that's how they fucking watch their shows. But what's going to happen is it's going to kind of be like Pandora or Sirius when when you get those apps online. If you pay that seven dollars for that app. But then every single time you want to watch a show, it gets cut in every 10 minutes with fucking a minute worth of advertising. Well, that's what they, I mean, it's less than, a, than right now. No, I do think it's all going to change. I mean, it, 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 right. it will. I mean, the whole networking thing is going to change. I do also think, I was reading a, an article about power. Uh, not that anyone Like cares. electricity Elec- or power yeah, of people? Yeah, like the electricity. Okay. Because... <laughs> uh, now, scg e can't tell you how much um, how much the solar and wind power you can generate on your property like they haven't able to. Right. That was all got knocked down this when we voted. Uh, there are now gonna there are like two uh, solar companies in San Diego that are gonna start selling solar energy. That's right, and one of them is REC. Yeah. Or rec Solar. That's right. I remember seeing so that. So they're going to actually start competing with SDG with SDG&E. And where SDG&E screwed up is they wanted they they wanted to maintain the the grid. The grid. Mm-hmm. And so and that's you know how they got the Sunrise Power thing, you know because it's a grid. It's not really ours. Right. It's, you know, as it was also uh, ruled in this little blog that I read that they can no longer say who uses their grid. So those companies can use the grid to send power however way they want to, whether it's solar or right. so wind I could generated. Use, so I could start using their yes, you could. company and get rid of SUG&E, you know, for the thing. I'm like... I love that you're so anti-corporation everything. You're anti-Cox Cable and AT&T, and now you're anti-SDG&E. Well, SDG&E kind of fucked you. And you were pissed off. You were pissed off at them. 
<laughs> well, I just don't understand. I mean, why pay so much money for cable? I right. mean, to me, it's... Well, exactly. Since, I mean, for it's real. It's crazy. But... Stupid. I mean, when you figure how much I spend just on internet alone, it's crazy. I mean, I have internet. I pay for internet on my phone. I pay internet for my iPad. I pay internet for my house. I pay internet for work. I mean, I spend... Three hundred dollars a month on internet. <laughs> on internet. So God damn it, I should be able to watch the fucking TV show. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck that free porn. Why is porn free, but you got to pay to watch Dallas? Exactly. <laughs> Where's porn free? <laughs> um. Pornhub. Hello, Pornhub, XTube. I can't figure out X videos. I can't figure out that XTube thing. I've tried it before. I don't understand it. <laughs> I mean, we could go on. We got a room full of gay people here. Tell uh, us your, your favorite free porn site. <laughs> I'm sure we can get a list. <laughs> Maybe we should put that in the I blog. Don't, I don't. Uh, well, hey, I don't watch porn. Well, see, you're like me. I don't either. I mean, I give a shit about gay porn, but. Yeah. I'm just saying. But it's from like 1979 and it's straight porn? Fuck, I'll watch the fuck out of that. Yeah, that's good porn. <laughs> that is good porn. That is good porn. <laughs> So are we um, I think we're done. There's there's uh, one or two events I want to plug. This weekend is the Young Professionals Council at the center. It's their champagne brunch uh, right. for all of their graduates, and we want to congratulate uh, um, uh, Ian uh, Ian Johnson from They Said, who has graduated through there. So they're going to be doing their champagne brunch at Wang's on Sunday, on and Saturday is Ian's going away party. It is at Martinis. Also, so, Brian's is closing yes, on Saturday. Yes, Brian's night. is closing on Saturday. You better go in and get your favorite little closing thing. Door. I don't go there anymore. You don't go there anymore. God damn That's it. why it's closing. That's why it's closing. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking about this the other day. Of all of the places, I don't believe in boycotts, but I think it's interesting that someone, you know, all of the places that I stopped going to have all closed. Yeah, you know, within a year of me not going to them, you know, like I stopped going to Martinis and it sold. <laughs> I stopped going to Brian's and they're closing. I like <laughs> Okay, so remember when we were talking about power before? Yeah. That's the power I thought you were talking about. <laughs> oh, no, that is <laughs> I mean, I just find it kind of interesting. Just saying. I mean, there's a couple other places that I well, can mention, too. That, please you know, don't stop going to Argag because God damn, that shit needs to stay open. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, you know, I have to tell you, well, Rich cracked me up the other day. I called Rich on Monday during the, during my show. Uh -huh. My show this week was the worst show I've uh, it's ever been. I wonder if my time is up to the wet underwear contest. Don't you dare say that blasphemy. I, the blasphemy. Numbers, the numbers have been way too low. But, <laughs> so people don't start coming. I'm gonna. Um, but I called Rich to talk to him on the speakerphone during the uh -huh. show. But it was very funny. What was the conversation consisting of? Sexy uh, naughty talk. No, I would never talk to Rich. No, about never. That. Food then. Of course. <laughs> Obviously potatoes. <laughs> All right, everybody. We want to thank everybody at Urban Mo's because we love our Thursday night location. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Maybe. Maybe.